welcome to another one of my videos um, in my YouTube channel, JB Healy Florence. This evening, I'm going to present to you a traditional salute to the sun or Surya Namaskar Yoga Asan series. This particular salute to the sun is one of the most traditional and oldest of the Hatha Yoga Sun Salutations. And it is a wonderful little regime of dynamic sequenced movements done mindfully and works just about every single part of the body, but also is importantly as well, very helpful for slowing the mind down, rejuvenating the mind, and helping to teach mindfulness, body and breath awareness. The first of the Salute to the Suns that I'm going to do for you tonight is one that just contains the 12 traditional yoga postures. And then the second round of Salute to the Sun we will do I'm going to extend some of the postures for you so that if you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more with some of the physical practices, then the second sun, sun salutation might be of interest to you. Always remember the traditional sun salutations are done slowly and mindfully. Slowly because it allows you to work in a meditative and mindful way, helping you to slow down your mind and also your breathing. It helps you to switch on the parasympathetic nervous system as opposed to the sympathetic nervous system. So the parasympathetic nervous system the calming and stress releasing and relaxing side of our nervous system. Also by doing the movements slowly and mindfully and holding them for some time, perhaps a, a breath, deep breath or even sometimes a couple of deep breaths, that will, that will also help you to develop strength and strength of the mind as well as strength of the body. Sun salutations are sometimes presented uh, as very quick and perhaps very repetitive um, sequences, but that's not the form of sun salutation that I'm presenting to you tonight. This is the traditional Hatha yoga ver version and is particularly concerned with um, a relaxing and calming and rejuvenating element as well. So we will start, first of all, I just want to do a very, very brief sequence of little loosening movements. We don't have to do too many of these because the uh, salute to the sun in itself is also a really good loosening and warming up sequence and um, it's particularly beneficial to do it at the beginning of the day to awaken the body and the mind and start to get them re-energised and activated. But before we just move into that salute to the sun, we'll just do some very, very quick basic loosening movements, especially for the spine, so that we prepare the spine to be doing a little bit more um, of the more challenging movements perhaps. So beginning with some shrugging of the shoulders to loosen up that area and then alternately rolling the shoulders and reverse and then warming up the shoulders a little bit more. So just rotating around a little bit of a twist as well so we loosen the spine and then warm the shoulders and then going in the other direction. And back to centre, and then just a few sideways movements, so just nice and slowly coming 
back to center and coming down to the side and breathing in, coming back to center and then slowly coming forward and down. Just nice and relaxed, hang loosely, lifting the legs. Breathing in, coming up slowly. And bring the hands to the lower back, bending the knees, pelvis forward, shoulders back, and taking your upper body back. Exhaling, coming back to the center, and then bringing the knees back together, bending them gently, and rotating into your knee joints. So loosening and letting go, and then reverse. Forwards and backwards, and side to side. Down to centre, pressing the knees back and slowly coming up and then to centre. So we're going to begin our first round, the traditional round of Salute to the Sun, Surya Namaskar, and you'll be coming up to the front of your yoga mat. Remember always uh, check if you've never done yoga before, um, check with your medical health practitioner, especially if you have any injuries, medical conditions or if you are pregnant because some of the movements may not be suitable for you or you may need to modify them to suit any of those particular conditions. So we're coming into mountain posture, Tadasana to start with. Just making sure you're nice and balanced between the balls and the heels and your feet about hip width apart. Bring the energy up through your legs and then bottom and tummy tuck gently in so we're engaging the core. Lift up the shoulders and then gently roll them back and relax them down. Bringing your palms together, bringing your thumbs gently to your chest. Close your eyes. We're just going to close the eyes for a few moments as we mindfully bring our attention into our body, checking that you feel balanced and also releasing any areas of tension or tightness if you notice them. And then moving your focus to your breathing. So we're going to mindfully connect to the breath and begin to slow and deepen your breathing. If it's comfortable, if you've got a free-flowing nose, then close your mouth. And we'll be inhaling and exhaling through our nose, unless, of course, you have a blocked nose. And then, of course, open your mouth if you need to. So open your eyes slowly. Breathe in deeply, turning your fingers to point towards your chest. Exhaling, peel the palms away and then stretch your arms forward. Breathing in, raising your arms, looking towards your fingers if you can, stretching up and then bending your knees, tucking your tailbone forward, gently move your upper body back. So a gentle back arch, looking forward if you have any health issues. And then on your exhalation, coming up to the center, folding forward, so lengthening out. If you have lower back issues, slide your hands down your legs and gently come down with some knees, bending the knees a little if you need to. Once we're down, we're just gonna hang the upper body loosely. This is sometimes called the rag doll position. You're lifting the buttocks a little bit more and taking some relaxed, deep breaths. And just allowing the spine to stretch out and the back of the legs a little gentle stretch as well. And then bending your knees, place your hands on the floor beside the feet, stepping your right foot back, lower your right knee gently to the floor, breathing in, lifting the chest, Pressing forward, coming into your runner's posture, which is a lovely stretch for the groin, the hips and the thighs. Moving the palms to the floor, lifting up the right knee, step back with the left, 
foot and lower your bottom a little, come into a straight line plank position. And we want to keep the neck in line with the spine, so just focusing on some deep breaths as you hold. If you find this a little strong, lower the knees to the floor. So you want to really engage the core. And then lowering the knees to the floor, flattening the feet, taking your bottom slowly back towards your heels and extending the spine and stretching the arms. Lower the forehead towards the floor. Breathing in, begin bending your arms as you move your upper body forward. Coming through striking cobra, pelvis coming down, pressing the chest up into your cobra position. Lower the shoulders, tighten the backs. Looking forward or if you like to stretch your neck a little more, looking up toward the ceiling, taking some relaxed, deep breaths. And then moving up through onto your hands and knees, moving your hands back a little, spreading the fingers, tucking your toes under, inhale, push your bottom up toward the ceiling, and pressing heels toward the floor, and your chest working towards your thighs and coming into the downward dog position. Lifting the buttocks, taking some relaxed deep breaths. Roll the shoulders outwards. If you wish, you can bend your knees a little bit so that you can move the chest towards the thighs and then pressing the heels down a bit more. Breathing in, raise your head a little and then stepping your right foot forward, bring your left knee to the floor. Inhale, lifting the chest, pressing forward once again, coming into the runner's position. Lifting up the left knee, stepping forward with the left foot, bending your knees, and just having a little rest with the forearms on the thighs. Breathing deeply. Nice, relaxed breaths. And then bringing your arms down and chest towards your thighs, lifting the buttocks slowly. And then on your next inhalation, slowly coming up and being aware of any lower back issues. Bend the knees if you need to. Stretch toward the ceiling, lengthen the spine. And then bend the knees, tuck your tailbone forward, moving your upper body gently back, coming into a little back arch again, exhaling, coming back to centre, bring the palms together and return slowly to the position we started, with thumbs to the chest. Close your eyes. And bring your attention back to your posture, creating beautiful, balanced, energised mountain posture, releasing tension, focus on the breath, if you extend, slow, deep and rhythmical, full yoga breath. slowly. So we're now going to repeat those movements starting with the opposite side and following along. So breathing in, turning the fingers in towards your chest. Exhaling, peel the palms away. Slowly stretching arms forward. Breathing in, raising your arms. Stretch up toward the ceiling. Bend the knees, tuck the tailbone forward, gently move your upper body back, gentle back arch, careful of the knees. Exhaling, slowly come back to centre and then rolling forward, extending through the spine, coming slowly down, 
modify if you need to from lower back problems, bending your knees a little if you need to. Lifting the buttocks a little bit more. And once again, hanging loosely in the ragdoll position. Keep the grace. Relax. Deep and rhythmical. And then bend your knees. Place your hands on the floor next to the feet. This time we start by stepping our left foot back. Lower your left knee gently to the floor. Breathing in, lifting the chest. Press forward in to the runner's posture. And then palms down. Lifting the left knee, step back with the right foot. Level the hips, coming down a little with the bottom, keeping the neck in line with the spine. And coming into the plank posture where we want to engage the core. Focus on the breath. Building the strength by holding the position. Bring the knees to the floor. Flatten your feet, moving your bottom slowly back towards the heels as we lengthen the spine, bringing the forehead down, breathing in, pressing slowly forward, thickening the arms, moving through striking cobra, bringing the pelvis down, pressing up into cobra. Lower your shoulders, tighten your buttocks, looking forward and up toward the ceiling. Focusing on your breathing. Moving up onto all fours position. Bringing the hands under your shoulders, spreading fingers, tucking toes under. Inhale, push your bottom up toward the ceiling. And then pressing heels toward the floor and your chest toward your thighs. Roll the shoulders out. Coming into downward dog posture, focusing on the breath, bending the knees a little if you need to, working the chest toward the thighs. And then lifting your head gently, stepping forward with the left foot, bring the right knee to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, pressing forward and back into the runner's posture. Bring the palms down, lift and extend right leg, stepping right foot forward and then bending the knees, just taking a rest for a couple of breaths with your forearms on your thighs. And then moving arms and chest down, slowly lifting the bottom, extending the legs a little more if you can. Remember to come up the way that suits your lower back, the stronger that that is, stretching out, engaging the core as we come up slowly. And stretching up toward the ceiling. Bend the knees, tucking the tailbone forward, upper body back, looking up or look forward if your neck is uncomfortable. Exhaling. Coming back to centre, bring your palms together and slowly return. Hands in prayer position in front of the chest. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders back and down. Checking that you are steady and balanced in mountain posture. Focus on the breath. Continue, slow, deep, mindful breathing, letting go of any sense of urgency or impatience, just being with the breath and feeling the beautiful energy flowing throughout your entire being. your breathing return to its natural rhythm 
and then relax your arms down, open your eyes, and then we'll just do a few releasing movements. So that is the very traditional Hatha yoga version of Surya Namaskar, salute to the sun. Gently rotating your bottom slowly and then reversing the direction. Making some fists and giving your lower back a nice little press and massage. And then warming up the kidneys with a little rub into the lower back area. Roll your shoulders and then reverse the rolls. Bend your elbows and gently rotate your wrists and reverse. And then squeeze into a tight fist. Stretch and spread the fingers. Let them relax. And just have a little shake. Good. So that is, as I said, the basic version. Surya Namaskar. So I'm now going to demonstrate for you the same uh, traditional Hatha Yoga Surya Namaskar. However, for some of the postures, we're going to extend them a little bit. Sometimes we call this working the postures a little bit more. And this allows you to use your um, body a little bit more deeply so that you are just stretching and strengthening areas with a little bit more challenge than the basic postures give you. If you wish to stick to the first version of the Salute to the Sun, that is absolutely fine. It's just that the, the second version I'm presenting may offer some people a little bit more of a challenge. So once again, we will be starting exactly the same, coming to the top of your mat in good mountain posture, engaging the core, so the bottom and tummy tucked in, pelvic floor lifted a little, shoulders relaxing back and down, bring your palms together, resting your thumbs to your chest, Close your eyes, bringing your attention inwards. So once again, mindfully scan your body. Make sure that you feel balanced and let go of any areas of tension. Bring your focus to your breathing. Connect the mind to the breath. And begin slowing and deepening your breath. Close your mouth if it's comfortable to do so. Creating full yoga breathing and remember we are coordinating the breath with the movements as you proceed with the sequence. Open your eyes slowly, breathing in, turning your fingers to point towards your chest. Exhale as we peel the palms away, stretching the fingers towards the opposite wall. Inhale, slowly raise your arms, bringing them up next to your ears. Bend your knees, tucking your tailbone forward, moving your upper body back gently. And those who can, looking up toward the ceiling. Exhaling, come back up slowly, and then folding forward, stretching out, Modify by bending knees and sliding hands down the legs if you need to. And coming into the forward hanging position. Lifting your buttocks, continue breathing in relaxed, slow, deep way. Clasp your elbows now and press your forearms down toward the floor as you lift your buttocks a little bit more. Imagine gravity pulling your forearms toward the floor. And then gently just doing a little sway from side to side. Arms, so 
aqua water in our faces. And then moving a little bit more into an arcing position. Loosening the spine a little bit more. Coming back to center. Release your arms, bend your knees, placing the hands on the floor next to the feet. Stepping back with the right foot and then lower the right knee down onto the floor. Breathing in, lifting the chest, pressing forward a little into runner's posture. So we're going to now just add a couple of little movements here to work this position. So we're going to flatten the back foot out and then slowly start to move the bottom back a little bit toward the heel and lifting up the left toes. So we're stretching out through the calf and the hamstrings and then pressing toes toward the floor and bringing the chest towards your thigh. Just taking a relaxed breath in and out. And then lifting the chest, pressing forward and coming back into the runner's posture, lifting the chest again. So now we're moving into a type of pigeon posture. Taking your left knee outside the elbow, rolling toward the outside of the left foot carefully sliding the foot towards the opposite hand, bringing the lower part of the leg down first, then the upper thigh, sit up nice and tall, stretching the back leg out. So this is a version of the pigeon posture, working the left outer thigh stretch. So just taking it a little bit further, breathing deeply on your exhalation, Sliding the hands away, coming down to the forearms if you can. Extending the arms and bringing the forehead down. For those who can do that, a little bit stronger on the shoulders, taking some relaxed deep breaths. And then lifting your head, making fists. Place one fist on the other and then rest your forehead on the top fist. And again, taking some relaxed, deep breaths as we allow that beautiful outer thigh stretch from the left side to deepen. And then moving your head up, bring your both hands back to the floor and press the chest up. So coming out of it carefully, coming back onto the right knee, bring the left knee inside the elbow, coming back into your runner's posture, tucking the back toes under, and then lifting up the right knee, step back with the left foot, lower the bottom a little, coming into your plank posture, neck in line with the spine. Remember you can bend your knees if you need to at any stage, engaging the core, if you want to make a little bit more challenging, just doing a little sway from side to side, keeping nice and strong and keeping the whole body in a straight line, coming back to centre, lower your knees, flatten the feet, taking your bottom back towards your heels as you extend through the spine, bringing the forehead downwards. Breathing in, pressing slowly forward, moving through striking cobra. Bring the pelvis down, pressing up into cobra position. Lower the shoulders, tighten the buttocks. Looking forward or up toward the ceiling. And then bringing your head back to the center. So we're going to do a little bit extra on this cobra position. This involves a little spinal twist. Breathing deeply on your exhalation, turn to look over the right shoulder. And then if you can, turning your upper body a little bit more, 
So you're looking towards your left foot. Inhaling, turning back around to face forward. Exhaling, turning to look towards the left shoulder. And then turning on your upper body a little more to look towards the right foot. Don't strain the knee. Inhale, turn back around to the front. And then moving up slowly onto hands and knees. And this time we're going to move our bottom back. So we're going to come into a stretched pose of the child position, bringing your bottom as close to your heels as comfortable for you. Extending out through the spine, bringing your forehead towards the floor. Open your knees wider for comfort if you need to. And you can also adjust your arms if your shoulders are uncomfortable, bending your arms and resting your forehead on the top of the arm. Those who like the shoulder stretch, you're extending right through the arms. Taking some deep breaths. Close your eyes. Enjoy the beautiful spinal stretch. Breathing in, coming back onto your hands and knees. Move your hands back under your shoulders and spread your fingers. Tuck your toes under. Breathing in, quarter shoulder them up toward the ceiling. Press heels toward the floor chest toward the thighs. Take some deep breaths. So now we're going to do a little extra movement for stretching the hips and the legs. Shifting away first to your right leg. Breathing in, raising the left leg, slowly coming up. You just go as high as you can, pointing the toes up and then bending the left knee, lifting the knee up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, slowly bring the left foot to the floor, coming back into centre again. Shift the weight towards the left, and then breathing in, raising the right leg, so once again, just as high as you can. Bending the knee, lifting it up toward the ceiling. And then lower the right foot to the floor, coming back into the center, taking some deep breaths. Inhale, lifting your head a little and stepping forward with the right foot, lower the left knee gently to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, pressing forward. Flatten out the back foot. So we're going to do on this side, we're going to do those extra movements here. So we're slowly taking the bottom toward the heel, lifting the toes. You don't have to take the bottom all the way back, just lifting toes to the point where you're getting that lovely stretch through the right hamstring and calf area and then bring the toes down if you can. Exhale and lower the tummy and chest toward the thigh. And just holding for a couple of breaths. Lifting the head, moving back into runner's posture and lifting the chest again. Now moving into pigeon posture, taking the right knee outside the elbow. Roll to the outside of the foot, moving the right foot across, lower the bottom part of the leg, top part of the leg if you can, sitting up nice and tall and stretching the back leg out. Breathe in deeply. On your exhalation, coming down onto the forearms first, and then if you want to go further, Extending the arms, bring your forehead to the floor and taking some relaxed breaths there. 
feeling that lovely stretch to the outer right thigh. Lifting your head, so we're going to bend the arms, place one fist on the other, rest your forehead on the top fist, close your eyes, and once again, taking some relaxed, deep breaths. Bring your hands to the floor, pressing up with your upper body. Tuck the back toe. Before we do that, we're going to just ease up onto the left knee. Tuck the right knee inside the elbow, so we're coming back into our runner's posture again. Tuck the back toes under, lifting up the left knee. Step forward with your left foot. Make sure they're back nice and even again. And once again, just have a little rest, take some deep breaths. And then keeping the knees bent, bring your chest in to touch your thighs if you can. Loosely clasp your arms around the back of the knees and slowly lifting the buttocks a little bit higher. Release your arms coming down to clasp the ankles lifting the buttocks and then release inhale coming up engaging the core or modify if you need to stretch up toward the ceiling bending your knees tucking your tailbone forwards upper body gently back exhaling come back to center palms together slowly return close your eyes again briefly check through your posture release tension become balanced focus on the breath deep relaxed slow mindful breathing your eyes so we're going to do the second side of this extension version absolute to the sun breathing in turning your fingers towards your chest exhale peel the palms away stretching forward inhale deeply raise your arms stretch up Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone forward, moving upper body gently back. Exhaling, coming up slowly and then folding forward or modify by bending knees and sliding hands down the legs. Once again, coming into a rag doll position and lifting the buttocks a little bit more, bringing the hands, if you can, onto the floor, or you can place them on your legs if you can't reach the floor. Walk the hands forward and open and lift the chest. On your exhalation, start to move the belly and the chest in toward the thighs, lifting the buttocks a little bit more. And then bend your knees, place your hands next to the feet on the floor, stepping back this time with the left foot and then lower the left knee gently down onto the floor, lifting the chest, press forward in runner's posture. So another little modification here. We're going to bring the left hand over towards the left foot a little bit more. And then lifting the left knee, bringing your right arm onto the right side of your body. Pressing the left shoulder towards the right knee. Touching the right shoulder. Inhale, stretch the arm up. Exhaling, taking arm over the ear, just keeping your neck in a nice comfortable position. Focus on the breath. So this is quite a strengthening little spinal twist. And 
and then lower the right hand to the floor, bring the left hand back over and then bringing the left knee down and to the floor. And then we're going to place the palms down, lift up the left knee, step the right foot back, coming into your plank posture, engaging the core. Focus on the breath. So just a little bit of bit more work here. You can do these with your knees on the floor if you need to. Otherwise, from the plank posture, it's a little bit stronger. Slowly raise the right leg a little bit. Big toe pointing toward the floor. Hold for a couple of breaths. Lower the foot, coming back into center. And then lifting the left leg, big toe pointing toward the floor. Focus on the breath. And then lower the foot. Bring the knees to the floor. Flatten the feet. Forward and smoothing back. Moving the face down. Extend through the spine. Lovely stretch. Inhaling, pressing forward. Coming through your striking cobra. Pelvis down, pressing up, looking up, all forward in the cobra. Deep breaths. And then moving back up onto your hands and knees. And we're going to go back into our stretch pose of the child, a little bit of an extra stretch here. Once again, just taking your bottom back as close to your heels as your knees are comfortably able to do. Lower your upper body. For those who can, extend the arms, roll the shoulders out, or for any shoulder issues, bend your arms, one forearm the other, and rest in fold on the top forearm. Whichever position feels comfortable and that feels nice and relaxed. So you can stretch your spine and taking some deep breaths. So now just a little bit of an extra movement for the shoulders. So we're going to lift the head. So we're going to do the left side first. So turning your left palm upwards. Slide the left hand across to the right as you slowly lower the left shoulder to the floor and then your head to the floor. So it's a lovely shoulder stretch. Bringing the right arm up, taking it around the back. Grab a hold of the left thigh. So again, we're going to be stretching the other shoulder as well. Just taking some relaxed, deep breaths. Modify it if it's uncomfortable, especially if you have any shoulder issues. Releasing the right hand, so you bring that back to the floor. Breathing in, sliding the left hand back up. Coming back and we're going to do the same for the other side. So turning right palm up, sliding the Hand across, begin lowering your shoulder down onto the floor and then the head. Just keeping that nice stretch there for the bottom shoulder. Bringing the left arm up, taking it around the back, clasping around the right thigh if you can. And just taking some relaxed deep breaths. Close your eyes. Just be aware, don't overwork the shoulders. Just nice stretch. Releasing the left hand, bring the hand to the floor. Breathing in, sliding the right hand back. Just coming back once again into the stretch pose of the child. And then coming back onto hands and knees. Bring your hands under your shoulders, spreading fingers, tuck the toes under. Inhale, pushing up, 
Coming into downward dog, press heels toward the floor, chest toward the hands. Then we're going to do a little bit of work for the calf stretch. Shifting the weight to the left side, bring your right foot up behind your left knee. Drag the foot down the left calf until you're pressing down on that left heel. Pressing chest toward the thighs, lifting the bones. Deep breath. And then bringing the right foot to the floor, so shifting over to the right side. Bring the left foot behind the right knee, drag the foot down the calf, pressing to the right heel. Press the chest toward the thighs, lifting the boats. Have a calf stretch down through this calf. And then bringing the left foot back, coming back into the centre. Breathing in, lifting the chest and the head, stepping forward with the left foot and lower the left knee, lifting the chest, press forward again. We've got that little nice rotated position here, rotated plank posture. So we're going to bring the right hand a little bit closer to the left foot and then lift up the left knee, turn to look to the left, sorry it's the right knee lifted up and then we're bringing the left hand onto the thigh. Touch the left shoulder, breathing in, stretching left arm up. Exhale, carefully take the arm over your heel, focusing on looking towards your left with some deep breaths. This is a very strengthening, rotating position. And then lowering the left hand, bring the right hand back over to the side and then lower the knee down, lift the chest and into the runner's posture, bringing the palms to the floor and then lifting up the right knee, stepping forward with the right foot, bringing your feet back to hip width apart. Once again, just take a little rest with your forearms to your thighs, relaxed, deep breath. Keep your knees bent. Bring your chest towards your thighs as close as you can. And then clasp the big toes with your index finger and thumbs. Slowly lifting the bottom. Try and keep the chest as close to your thighs as you can. Lifting the buttocks. That's a lovely stretch to the spine. Back of the legs as well. Release the big toes. Inhale, come up slowly, engaging the core or modifying the lower back issues and stretching. Bend the knees, tuck the tailbone forward, move your upper body gently back. Exhale, come back to centre. Bring your palms together, slowly reach home position. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders back and down. Soften your face. Continue or steady, relaxed, deep, mindful breath. your breathing return to its natural rhythm. Relax your arms, open your eyes and then just do a few little releasing movements. Gentle swing from side to side. Once again, hands on the waist, rotating your bottom gently and slowly and release. And then upper body circles, coming forward, gently to the side, and gently back into the 
the other side. So just slowly rotating them up again. And then going in the reverse direction. And then coming back to the center. Make your fists once again with that lower back a good little massage. Rub around the lower back and the kidney area. Alternately roll your shoulders. Going in the other direction. And then bend your elbows. Rotation of the wrists. Rotate the other way. Now you clasp your hands a little bit sideways, figure of eight. So if you're just tucking the elbows into the body and slowly drawing a little sideways figure of eight with your wrists. Wrists mainly doing the action, then reverse, rotating, doing that sideways figure of eight or infinity symbol. Reverse it again and then do the speed up version and reverse speed version again. Good shake. Shake and we're just going to finish off with a little neck stretch and then that will do for our video tonight. Let's just do that little neck stretch. So just relax your shoulders back and down. Turning your right palm to face out. Inhale as you raise the right arm, fold it over and clasp your left ear, pressing your head firmly towards that right side. I'm just going to really keep that left arm stretching down. Just hold, close your eyes. Releasing your head, slowly return the head to the centre, stretching up with the right arm. Exhale, bring it down, turn the left palm out, breathing in, raise the left arm, folding it over, clasp your right ear, pressing your head firmly towards the left. Right arm, stretching those fingers down, hold, you can close your eyes. Stretch. Exhale, bring the arm down and then lift up your shoulders towards your ears. Very slowly rotate them around. And reverse the head. Rotate the head the other way. And then bring the head back to centre. Bring the head up. Relax the shoulders. And namaste. So thank you very much for joining me for our Salute to the Sun sequence. Salute to the Sun can be done any time that you can fit in 10 minutes of practice and it will, as I said, it will work your whole body and also you're working on your breath and your mindful awareness as well of your body, the breath and getting that lovely relaxation. It's like the relaxing and the energizing sequence. It does build a little bit of heat in the body as well. It's probably, um, if you're wanting to do a salute to the sun at the end of the day, before you go to sleep, just very gentle movements. Don't do the stronger version. Do it very slowly and with that beautiful calming breathing. Salute to the sun, though, as the name of the sequence implies, it's a beautiful thing to do at the rising of the sun, and it will start your day beautifully. Namaste.